Come on, we're going to go surprise the teacher. This is Buffkin. Hi. I'm Marty Manning from 99.9 KEZ wow. Radio. <laughs> and just let me have you stand right here because I have a letter I want to read to you. Hi, kids. Nice to see you all. We're here with something special for your teacher because we got a letter from Mrs. Angela Kirk. And uh, she said she's had two children in your classroom in the last two yes. years. And here's what she said about you. She said, Mrs. Buffkin takes every child's education and progress personally. She said, my daughter had suffered a physical injury that left her unable to be at school for an extended period. And not only did Mrs. Buffkin visit my daughter, bringing her get well wishes from her classmates. She also made sure my daughter had everything she needed to stay on track with the other students. She says she takes time to learn each child's strengths and weaknesses and is always open to catering to a child's individual learning style to ensure learning success. I have never seen a teacher more caring of the whole child, an example that all educational wow, professionals that's should really follow. Nice. That's great. That's wonderful. That is great. Yeah. That's exactly why we're here. And Delyn Bodine is with with us from Rio Salado College, and she has a little something for you wow. for your desk. That's lovely, thank you. And uh, we want to present you with our Excellence in Education Award wow. for November 2011. Congratulations! Wow, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations. We also have a check for $99 for you as well. All right, $99. And we remind uh, <laughs> teachers, if you want to become a teacher, prospective teachers, if you want to become a great teacher like Mrs. Buffkin, the place to do it, Rio Salado College. riosalado.edu gets you all the information. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Well, while we're here in Mrs. Buffin's class uh, at uh, Porter Elementary School in Mesa, by the way, I, I want to talk to some of the kids. Uh, I understand you guys have a challenge going on, yes. right? Uh, tell me, uh, who wants to tell me about the challenge? Okay, what's the challenge? Um, to meet a goal for 25 compliments. Uh, oh, that's a good challenge. I wasn't the one I was thinking of, but, uh, but that's a good one. H how are you doing? Have you got a lot of compliments so far, or are you giving compliments? No, we have to get compliments from like the music teacher, PE teacher. And how are you doing? Good. Oh, good. All right. Well, there's a guy that's a, a well-complimented guy. Uh, what's the other challenge I'm talking about? Uh, no fighting for 100 days at school. That's right. No fighting for a 100-day period. And this is something that the principal set up. Uh, you know what day it was when, when you started? Uh, it was no. World Peace Day. That's right, and that was the inspiration. So come on over here. I want to get the principal over here to talk about this, Mr. Lamantia. And uh, how are they doing so far? Well, they're doing great. We're on day 60, Two. day 62 right now. And, and kids, what happens on day 75? It's gone, isn't it? On day 75, he has to shave his mustache. And, well, and how long has it been here? 75 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a great idea that you're doing with the kids, and I know you're going to make it to it. You guys are going to make it to 100 days, right? Yeah. That's great. Exactly. That's kind of wonderful stuff that's going on here. So congratulations again to Mrs. Buffkin and everybody here at yes. Porter Elementary School in Mesa. You guys are great. Yeah.